Mr. Tree, it would be nice if you come along with us to the market. No, my son. I cannot move from my place. I won't be able to come. Then who will help us if we have a problem there? Don't worry. Mr. Coin will go with you. Mr. Coin? Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Coin and will help you solve any problem with money. Oh, thank you so much. We will take your leave now, Mr. Tree. Bye. I am going to buy a pineapple cake for mom and a chocolate pastry for myself. Let's buy some donuts also for the guests. That would be great. Hey, look. All the prizes are written here. Okay. We want one pineapple cake, one chocolate pastry and one donut. How much money will we need, Jumpy? That's a little difficult for me. Can you help us, Mr. Coin? Sure, my dear. When it is a bigger amount and you are unable to sum up, you should write the prices vertically and add to get the total amount. Come, I will show you. We write the value of rupees under rupees and that of pesce under pesce and then add it using normal addition method. We start adding from the right side column. So, on adding the pesce, we get a total of 50 pesce. Next, we add the rupees. And we get a total of 230. So, the total amount is 230 rupees and 50 paise. Oh, that was very interesting, Mr. Coin. That makes calculating the total amount so simple. Oh, yes. Let's buy the pastries and donut now. Hey, kids. Hope you liked the lesson. Let me quickly recap the topic for you. To get the total amount of money, we add the numerical values of the notes and coins. We add money by writing rupees and pesce in separate columns. <laughs>